All right, now it's in Peshawar. Beautiful city, beautiful people, beautiful atmosphere. But now we're going to the Afghanistan consulate and we try to cross the border today. Hopefully we manage. We are a little bit out of schedule right now. Inshallah. After all, we ended up riding to the border twice. This was actually the first time we couldn't reach the border because the military wouldn't let us. Around 50 kilometers before the border, there was a checkpoint and the police dash military, they wanted to get an escort vehicle for us. Next day, we rode towards the border knowing there is the checkpoint with the tricky officials. I was riding first and Colin behind me. Only thing I saw was confused and friendly faces. They started waving to Collins to stop. I said yalla and kept riding. This is good news. We got through the police checkpoint and they didn't even stop us. So we are continuing to the Afghanistan border. Door come, here we come. We are 21 kilometers away from Torakam, which is the border town, and the trucks are already lining up here. Hmm, <laughs> this is interesting. 21 kilometers. All right, one kilometer to the border. Might be that soon I stop filming, since I think on this border it's strictly prohibited. The border was pretty much like I had imagined it. Fixers, money exchangers, animals, small construction projects and people crossing back and forth with half of their belongings. I think we don't need any Pakistani rupees anymore. And as always, we surround ourselves with new friends in a heartbeat. What is he saying? He says Pakistani rupees are not allowed. Not allowed. Ka uh, boss? Yeah. It's 630 Afghanis official rate. And do you get 600? Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay. It gave me 400. 400. 480. 480. 480. Yeah, it's okay. This also. 150. Okay. Yeah. Shukriya. Onpa mukavaa, että on kerrankin paikallista valuuttaa taskussa jo. Ja lisäksi meillä on mukavasti vielä US dollaria taskussa, niin hienosti. Ainoa mikä vaan harmittaa, niin että ruokaa ei saa syödä tänään ennen auringon laskua. Obviously, I didn't film the border formalities, but all in all, very organized and friendly. Even or especially with the officials, the local hospitality is amazing in this part of the world. One funny thing I saw was this old book with all the carnets being used by travelers crossing this border since 1979. Nice border. Nice border. Getting to the no man's land, it got a bit more tense. A huge machine gun pointing straight to the next country, ready loaded, with helmets, armored gear and riot equipment. Pretty specific questions being asked, but after all, friendly and nice. Since cameras are not allowed in Afghanistan, it's good to do a Afghanistan vlog entry from the toilet. Entering Afghanistan, basically the easiest border ever. It was just 
check the passport, stamp it, check the road pass that we got from the embassy in Peshawar. So now we are happily in Afghanistan, around 70 something kilometers to Jalalabad and then we can start our Afghanistan journey, really. Very good, amazing Afghanistan. Okay, see you brothers. Yalla yalla, yalla yalla. English, yes. How are you? Good, how are you? Where are you from? Switzerland. Why you come here? In Afghanistan. Why not? Why are you here? 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 How long have you been traveling? Around 300 days. Do you have any comment about Taliban? Sorry? Any comment? Any rem remarks? Feedback? Any complaint? No we, we only came here two hours ago. Yeah. yeah. So when far, we, okay. When we when yeah. we entered country, very easy process. Yeah. We traveled to the Rasano in three like our Afghanistan. Our trips are for today. We just had the key to travel here for Shadi. What about the situation here in Afghanistan? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Sure, we don't know. No problem. If you want, like, if you want to be solved, no problem. So far, don't worry. They are just asking. Yeah, they are all happy. Okay, don't worry. Greetings from Jalalabad. All in all, entering Afghanistan cost us um, visa 120 US dollars with a rush fee and 30 US dollars for the road pass. So 150 US to get to Afghanistan. Not too bad, or at least not as bad as we at some point expected. Kabul is situated pretty close to the Pakistan border, so we only have two and a half hours of riding today. In Kabul we obviously want to get a grasp of the culture there and explore the chaotic city. We've heard a lot about it, maybe a few days there and then we start heading to Herat, go down through Kandahar, which also should be pretty, pretty nice to see. All in all, I would say yesterday was pretty good for us. Uh, only 
we got stopped uh, many times at the checkpoints and also if we make a random stop in a village we can be sure that we get mobbed and surrounded by people of course people are friendly that's not a problem but then always the officials also come and take our information our passport etc etc um, language barrier is a bit of a problem right now the officials they definitely are not speaking english i also want to show last night's accommodation this Outside this garden looks a bit too luxurious for us actually. Uh, we are definitely not used to these kind of places. I would say judging by the looks it's from the 60s. Pretty much completely original hotel. There is definitely not much renovations done. Maybe during the 60s it was pretty damn luxurious place. Do you want to tell your greetings to Mama, or are you all good? Hello Mama, <laughs> if you're watching this, we're all good, we're safe, we're happy, everything is awesome. All is good. All is good. <laughs>